Leukemia? Shame? Yuck. It, look, the car accident is actually a blessing in disguise. <gasps> if Shane doesn't come into the ER, then maybe we don't catch this in time. <laughs> leukemia? That's cancer. It's acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's the most common form found in children. <gasps> He's not even sick. No. Rex, he's not sick. I know. It It appears that way, but his white cell count is through the roof. Maybe we need to do a bone marrow biopsy to be 100% sure, but the blood smear that I did is, is pretty convincing. I'm so sorry. I know this is... This is a huge blow. So how... Sick is he? Leukemia is no longer the automatic death sentence that it used to be. There have been enormous strides in treatment in the last 20 years. But it can be fatal, right? And given Shane's numbers, we're going to want to pursue an aggressive line of treatment as soon as possible. Oh, my God. What, what does that mean, aggressive? Well, that's going to be up to Shane's oncologist, but he's probably going to want to get him into chemotherapy right away. Chemo? Yes, it's going to be our first line of attack, okay? And since we want to be prepared for any additional avenue of treatment, we're going to search the National Registry for a possible stem cell donor. He's going to need a transplant. It's a possibility. Yes, if everything else fails, okay? So I suggest that you guys go out and you round up everyone that you can, okay? And the more blood relatives, the better. Our best hope for finding a suitable donor is a family member. And he's most certainly going to need blood. We'll call everyone we know. God, I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I, I hate giving this news to you. Okay, but please do not give up hope. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes alone, all right? Right back. Won't. I won't let that happen. Shane always gets bruises. I just think he's a kid. It's normal wear and tear. What am I going to do? Miss work? Skip a payment on the electric so I can run him to the doctor every time he has a bruise? Okay, we'll figure this out. Oh, he's been having such a hard time getting out of the bed lately, and I thought it was just because he wanted to skip school. You can't blame yourself. Sure, I can't. How long has he had this? Leukemia. Freaking leukemia. God, how did I miss it? What kind of mother does this make me? Speech. Oh, my God. It couldn't have just been the asthma. No, that would have been too easy. Couldn't have just been the out of nowhere, not breathing, the drowning in air, hoping I didn't misplace the healer, and please don't let it be empty because my son can't breathe out if you give me a there. What are we going to do, Rex? We are going to do what you have done for the past 11 years. We're going to roll with this punch. We're going to get back up and we're going to beat it. Okay. Only this time, you're not going to be by yourself. You're gonna have me. We are gonna get through this for our son, okay? We are going to do it together. Hello, Gigi? I need to see you, Stace. Hey, Mom. Mom? Ooh, you must be up to something. <laughs> Let me guess, you found out Rex is a lying skirt chaser and now you want your little sister back. But guess what? That's not gonna... It's not about Rex. It's not about you. It's not about me. What is it, Rexy? It's Shane. He's sick. Oh, my baby. I'm so sorry. Tell me what's wrong with Shane. Can I talk to you in there? Sure. Listen. Your mama's here, and everything's going to be all right. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're totally going to get through this. Thing is, I'm going to need your help. 
I have to ask you a favor. And I realize you have every right to tell me to go to hell after I kicked you out this morning, but I'm hoping you won't hold that against Shane. What's going on? My kid is sick. You might need a bone marrow transplant, and for all we know, you could be a match, so I'm just asking you if you could please... Done. I would never hold my nephew hostage or a misunderstanding. You obviously don't know me that well, do you? Are you kidding? That's a no-brainer. Of course I'll get tested. Thank you. Ma, this means the world to me. All right. I've arranged for the lab to take your samples. This is all happening so fast. Yeah, it has to. All right, I'll let you know if one of you is a suitable donor. The minute you know, okay? Yeah, absolutely. The minute I know. What are the odds, Michael? 70 to 75 percent of patients do not find viable donors within their family. I mean, typically, parents don't have enough of the good markers. But usually, siblings are the best donors. Well, you two will get on that right away. I mean, it's not unheard of, but you know, the sooner we treat Shane, the better. Just don't jump to conclusions, okay? We may not even need a donor. All right, and if we do need a donor, we may find one right here in this room or on the National Registry, okay? Right now is way too early to focus on worst-case scenario. I wish my parents were still alive. What if one of them... Yeah, my dad, too, but he's dead. Look, getting these samples is simply about covering our bases. And after mm -hmm. that... Well, Shane's oncologist is taking a look at his test results right now, and as soon as he can, he's going to come out and discuss Shane's treatment with you. Right. Roxy, would you and Stacy go with this nurse here, please? She'll handle your paperwork and get you swabbed. Sure. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Can't tell you. I want you to bring Shane in. Today? Yeah. I told you we can't afford to waste any time. Oh, God. How are we going to tell him? You're up next. Uh, hold it a second, Miss Ratchet. Uh, would you say goodbye to Rex and Gigi for me? You don't want to... No, listen. I, it's very important. i got to go someplace, and I just don't want to leave him hanging, okay? It's important. Just do it, okay? And then we'll be square. Yes, hello. Uh, I need to see a patient in room 302. Yes, it is family, and it's a matter of life and death. I want you to lean on me, man. Okay, Shane's gonna have questions that you're not gonna be able to answer. You and Gigi are gonna wake up in the middle of the night with questions. I want you to write them down, and we'll talk about them the next time. Thank you. If we have to go through this, I'm glad we're doing it with you. Man, after what you did for me and Marcy with Tommy, man, this case is my top priority. Just let me know if you want me to talk to him, okay? Couldn't this checkup have waited until after school? And how many times do I have to tell you I'm fine? <sighs> See? No wheezing. I mean, what's the big deal? You see... The thing is, uh, when you were in the ER last night, the doctors ran some tests. For my asthma? Yeah. For that, uh, for some other stuff. Too, it's, it's just what doctors do. Uh, when the test results came back, they found something. It's our grandson. He's in big trouble and he needs our help. Yeah, yours too.